All right, Lagos, welcome to Tech Talk with Kazim on 95.7. This is your solidly unique campus radio station. And of course, uh, Kazim is right here with me in the studio. He's a techie man, he's a tech man, he's the one that will be taking charge of this uh, uh, program. And of course, uh, what are we going to be discussing? But first, good afternoon. Good afternoon for me, and good afternoon, listeners. All right, it's good to have you this uh, Wednesday. It's all about Tech Talk. So what are we looking at this afternoon? So this afternoon, we're starting the Power Platform series. Okay. I mentioned, uh, you know, last week on last week's show that, uh, you know, this week we're going to be talking Power Platform. Uh, we did, uh, for the past weeks, uh, we've been talking about Microsoft Azure, that's okay. cloud computing. So today we're going to start the series, you know, where people get to learn um, how to build business applications without the knowledge of coding. Hmm. Because a lot of people always uh, shy away from uh, business platforms because they think it's all about coding, it's all about programming and softwares. Now we have another alternative Very to much. building business platforms. Very much so. Um, so Microsoft has decided to term this one Microsoft Power Platform. Okay. Uh, so, so you would agree with me that uh, learning programming can be tough for many people. Yes. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The languages so. <laughs> are very, they are, see, they are odd. If you don't understand technology or probably uh, the software itself, it becomes really difficult for you to understand the programming language itself. So it's good to know that we have an alternative to that for people that are not as techy as some of us. Yes, uh, though if one, uh, you know, puts in a lot of energy into it, uh, mm -hmm. it's something that is... Uh, very rewarding, you know, okay. having a career in programming is very rewarding, no doubt. But for many people out there, uh, the, 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 the fear is always, uh, you know, the time. They don't have the time in their hands to spend, uh, you know, on, on their programming career. A lot of people want to build a career in programming, but they'll complain about the time, you know, most especially for the working class people, people who have got families as well. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't, they just can't seem to have that time to settle to learn how to code so now we have an option being provided by microsoft where you need not have uh, you know programming knowledge and you can build very fantastic very sophisticated business application just imagine you know someone like you uh, mm -hmm. you know without the programming knowledge and you have a tool that you can work with to help you power your show you know, how about you? You talk to, you know, a tool such as Cortana and you tell Cortana, Cortana, can you play me the next track? You know, can you play me? <laughs> you get the picture. Interesting. So that is <laughs> I think we have, we have some people that are already using that, but it's not fully into the business right now. Yes, uh, to, to develop, you know, such software is, is not something that is very easy you know to put together uh, it requires a lot of coding mm -hmm. but uh, you know what i'm talking about this time is the ability to be able to do something similar without you needing to code meaning you just just a few drag and drops and you can end up with building very nice looking robots you know we call them bots you know that mm -hmm. can sit on even the cloud computing platform that can sit uh, you know on azure so 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 uh the tool is what we're going to be talking about or that what we're going to be starting you know starting this week but are this are this robots or bots are they virtual yes uh they are virtual you know i'll give an instance an example of uh, a bot um we can have say a chat bot mm -hmm. you know if you log into a particular website and you have this particular company you know offering a number of services uh, and you need a service to consume from that company you want to go to their website and look up the services that they're offering you know so you might waste a lot of time on the website trying to get to the actual information that you're looking for yeah. wouldn't it be nice if there is a bot on the website that we can chat with you know have that human kind of you know interaction human, yes interaction with this bot you ask the bot questions i'm looking for the service and it mm -hmm. gives you answers it can even go as far as learning about you so that next time you're on the website it doesn't have to mm -hmm. ask you the same sort of questions again you know so that's you know what we're talking about and building those kind of application is just so super easy you know to do now all right maybe we should go into details 
what exactly are we talking about? Okay, so we're talking about uh, a family of, we like to call them zero to no code tools. Uh, so, you, you know, they are being grouped together under the umbrella of power platform. So, there are a number of tools, you know, that makes up uh, the power platforms. Uh, we have four of them. Uh, one of them is a tool known as Power BI. Okay. So, that's one. Mm -hmm. Another one is called Power Apps. So, there's the third one is called Power Automate. Power Automate. And the last one, which was just recently introduced, is something known as Power Virtual Agents. So these are the tools that we can leverage when it comes to, you know, automating business processes, you know, trying to do a number of these no-code solutions. Uh, you know, it has turned a number of uh, business people into developers, you know, though we like to tag them citizen developers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we even have them on WhatsApp. We have them on WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, business line where uh, you get, you send a message and you get a response. Exactly. But it's not exactly so that, that, the person giving you the response. The, exactly. <laughs> so that's the chat bot, for instance. You know, mm -hmm. we can create a chat bot plug it into your website, plug it into Facebook where, you know, you have a Facebook group and uh, people type, you know, messages, automatically they get to respond. So you think, you know, there are people behind... Uh, they're actually virtual. They, they are virtual, you know, they are robots, you know, trying to make those things happen. Sometimes they learn about the pattern of what you're trying to type in. Sometimes it might be that, you know, the, the, knowledge, the knowledge base is being pre-built. So there's a file or a knowledge-based system in place that you need to build. So the bot, the bot just picks from, you know, information that you already mm -hmm. have stored in the knowledge base. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So I've mentioned four tools uh, that we have under the umbrella of Microsoft Power Platform that we can use to make these no-code uh, solutions happen. Again, I'll try to reiterate real quickly. We've said this Power BI. And what is Power BI? Power BI is a dashboarding tool. You know, a number of people knows how to work with Microsoft Excel, right? So Microsoft Excel is a very fantastic tool. You know, you can do a number, you can do a number of calculation, mm -hmm. you know, statistical work, uh, you know, with uh, Microsoft Excel. Even have some sort of dashboards built, you know, with Microsoft Excel. But if you need to take it to a whole new level, you know, for 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 the business decision makers, you know, sometimes they don't want, they are not interested in they just they are interested in the numbers and you want to when you have a meeting with those kind of people it makes a lot of sense it's going to make it a lot easier for you to show them some sort of graphs that you know they can look at and Analysis. then be able to very well you know be able to tell how well the business is doing be able to project into the future you know so that is power bi for you is an analytic uh analytical tool okay. that you can use to make business decisions that you can use to come up with some kind of you know projection so it helps you build very nice looking fantastic you know dashboard that is power bi <clears throat> subsequent weeks we're going to be looking at each of these tools in details in great details so i guess next week we're just going to be focusing on power bi so we get to learn a lot more about you know what we can do with power bi uh, so i guess uh, from next week i can also be co-hosting the show with some professionals on the field so they oh, can yes so they can as well uh, share their live experiences with people you know okay. so some of the solutions that they've been able to come up with using leveraging uh, you know some of these very powerful tools so again the number one tool uh, you know, under the umbrella of Microsoft Power Platform is Microsoft Power BI. Business intelligence is what the BI part of it stands for. And number two is something known as Power Apps, Microsoft Power Apps. So Power Apps is, uh, you know, was being introduced to by Microsoft to make those things that seems very difficult, very easy, you know, for people to leverage. You know, you want to uh, build very nice looking mobile applications. You'll be amazed, you know, for me at what you can do when you understand how, you know, the basics of this tool. So you can spend a few hours with these tools and you end up with building very robust, nice looking application, mobile application, web-based application. You know, those are the kind of apps that you can build using Microsoft Power apps so that's number two number three is a tool known as microsoft power automate 
Microsoft Power Automate. So Power Automate helps us to orchestrate to automate business processes you know you have um, you know a process in place that you're used to doing manually and you're looking to automate that process you know so you can just simply use the power automate tool to do some drag and drops and you're there you know so this tool again very easy you know to use i remember some five years back you know i had the project to do uh with a particular bank you know an automation project okay. uh you know sharepoint related and uh, you know i find myself having to use this tool you know to build forms so me and my colleagues you know i try to build a team you know around this project so myself and my colleague we will build spend a lot of time building the form and then to make the action really happen we need to automate so we leverage on other tools you know to do the automation so the tool building the tool is one of it you know that's the form mm -hmm. validating it is another and then trying to automate the process you know trying to write the ease and the else statement you know mm -hmm. is another thing to make it you know happen the processes happen so there might be a process that we're working on that would you know, have about a number of, uh, you know, approval stages, a number of approval levels. So those um, programs can take us very long. You know, I remember it took us about six months, you know, to deliver this project, you know. So, but knowing that these tools now exist that we can leverage, you know, a tool such as Power Automate to leverage, it just makes it very seamless. So it means that spending that six months, if we knew of a tool such as Power Automate, if we had Power Automate around then, you know, we could have done these things, you know, at a very, you know, lesser time, you know. So um, Power Automate can help us when it comes to automating business processes so that's power automate and the last one is something known as microsoft virtual agent uh, by the way the power automate the name also was recently changed okay. from microsoft flow it used to be called flow and then now we have microsoft power automate. automate you know the good thing you can connect to a number of data sources you know you want to pull information from facebook you want to pull information from twitter you know mention social media you know your social media handles you can do all of those things so you know how about you want to get a test message when you have somebody send you uh you know a message on facebook so you can make it happen just by dragging and dropping you know using this very fantastic tool and the last one again is microsoft power virtual agent so the power virtual agent is the new introduction into the power platform family right so when it comes to building bots that's robotics, you know. So you want to build bots, you want to build chat bots, you know. So this is a tool for you on the Microsoft platform, Power Platform, that you can use to make this thing happen. And again, you get to do all of this thing with little or no code at all, hmm. you know. So how cool is that? Very cool. All right, Lagos, we'll take a very short break. When we return, we'll be asking questions. And of course, Kazim has an intern right here with us. She will also be asking questions. For me, I have a question relating uh, this uh, Power Automate with what we have in electrical engineering called PCB simulation. So we'll talk about it when we return. It's still 95.7 and it's Tech Talk with Kazim. <music> The registration for 2020 WIAC, JAM and NECO is in progress. Are you looking for a stress-free way to have your registration? Search no more. Hurry now to Lasso CBT Center inside Lasso Main Campus or JAW. For further inquiries, call Timitope on 0908-789-9045 or 0901-853-9448. Lasso CBT Center is open for all. Come now for your registration. We're at 95.7, your solidly unique campus radio station. And of course, it's still Tech Talk with Kazim right here on uh, 95.7. My name is Fumi. And of course, Kazim has been talking to us concerning uh, power... Platform, platform family suit of products yes uh, no need for you to code especially for business owners so draw close to your radio set because we're about to take it 
up the next level. All right, I said I have a question before I go to the intern that we have with us in the studio. Now, my question is relating with uh, circuit diagrams, circuits in, in short, in electrical engineering. Okay. Now, there's this uh, software called PCB. We have live wire as well uh, for drawing electrical circuits in You're the You're going whole. to tell me again what the techie person is doing on radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the, th the thing now is, you know, there's something we call simulation okay. in uh, electrical engineering, especially for the circuit diagrams, because okay. you have to make it look real okay. on the system before you start applying the real-life uh, scenario to it. Now, is it the same thing with the power automation that we have in uh, this uh, particular topic we're talking about? Uh, yes, um, it's very possible, you know, for you to get all of those things done, uh, most especially if you also happen to be a developer, also with, uh, you know, your, your background knowledge of electronics now. So there's just way more that you can do. Uh, so you can integrate great like i see you pushing some buttons you mm -hmm. know right now in the studio so how about i uh, you know you come to the last CVT center you know spend a few uh you know days with us at the last CVT center and uh, you learn how to automate this thing without having to push the button you know just talk okay. to your <laughs> <laughs> you maybe i might consider that i hope it's free of charge <laughs> okay of charge? I, I think at this point i should also mention that uh, you know at the last CVT center uh, we have uh, a boot camp coming up on the seventh, which is free. Uh, so Next month, yes, uh, is on a Saturday, so there's no excuse for people, who, you know, the working class people. Mm -hmm. So the students are going to attend. Professional people are going to be attending as well. Uh, we even have one speaker all the way from Ghana. Although you know, I told him not to worry. He wanted to, you know, come down here, so I told him he could just do it, you know, over the internet. So he's going to be delivering his own sessions over the internet. There's another one in two months' time, so which is an international event. A very big event and there's a number of swags to give away so people that are going to be coming will be getting free right t-shirts in, in, yes, in, in the cbt center you know the last of cbt center Please so there's going to be free t-shirts there's going to be free charger for the and you have people world. coming all the way from us you know you have wow. a number of microsoft people coming from the okay. us there are guys coming in from ghana you have people from the banking industry you know coming to come share their experience you know with the people that are you know it's called a tour you know the one for uh april uh, is a, pla a a microsoft power platform tour you know so it's going around africa there are a number of schools uh you know that they are going to be doing uh, in nigeria before okay. moving to ghana you know so they are starting out with lasso you know so we'll start with lasso we are lasso <laughs> we are proud so when will it we be like that, uh, happening yeah. i'm talking about uh, the international okay so, one. so I, I think they should check this information on the website on the lasso cbt18 website so that's www.lassocbt18 dot com and uh, you know when they click on the event uh, link on the website so they can see all of those uh, free bootcamp programs that we have happening you know at the center uh, i've just mentioned the power we call that uh, you know the one happening next month is called a uh, lasso superpower saturday hmm. you know, so <laughs> superpower superpower we're ready we're lasso we're proud all right let me yeah. come to the intern we have in the studio with us what's your name please move closer to the mic Rabiat. My name is Rabiat. Rabiat. Are you a student of Lasso? Yeah. What level? What departments? Um, found a level student of Department of English and Literary Studies. Wow, interesting. Why CBT? Why technology? Why are you leaving English for this one? Um, I'm actually not leaving English for it, but right from my scratch, I mm -hmm. have interest in computing and especially... Um, this Microsoft Word and so so I just decided to come learn and work for last CBT to learn more. So are you thinking of making it a career or is it just a one off thing? Yeah, I can make it a career. So you want to build your career in uh, cloud computing or probably any of the computer yeah, studies that we have? Well, yes. interesting. So you've been listening to Kazim and everything he has uh, talked about this afternoon. What question do you have for him? really have a question the only question i have is i would like to know if the um, power application maybe we can access it on phone or computer alone okay uh that that's a very good question 
yes uh, these applications they are applications that some of them you can use on your phone you can use them on your computer to you know as well i mentioned that they are drag and drop applications though you get better experience you know when you use them on your computer and uh, the good thing is uh, you know you can use them to build not just web applications you can as well use them to build mobile application as well so uh you know there's a version of it running in the cloud that you can use up on 0365 uh you know there's there will be a session for 0365 on the show so uh this is just whetting your appetite you know a little okay. bit so you are at the center you know so mm -hmm. you know you can ask you know some of the other techie guys you know at the center how to do some of the thing and are you you know um fumi was also mentioning are you looking to build a career in it you know mm -hmm. it is so flexible you know that uh, you can take it as a second career you know people yeah. IT now allows us to, uh, you can have something you're doing and then you're doing IT as a, you know, you take it more as a second career. So it still doesn't affect your major, you know, just like yourself now, you yeah. know, you, you, you said you have interest <laughs> in IT and, uh, you know, you're also on the radio and you also have in a background in electronics, you get the picture. And uh, most especially, you know, talking about power platforms still, uh, now that uh, Lagos is trying to go, you know, they're banning uh, the, the, the bike men, you know, from working, and uh, you know, the, 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 the tricycle. Tricycle as well mm -hmm. you know so this is a very good time for people to start investing in learning power platforms so that they can take advantage of things like you know telecommuting you know people can work right from home they don't need to be at the office to contribute you know so these are some of the tools that people can leverage on to make telecommuting you know very possible Oh, interesting. Really interesting. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Do you have any other question you want to ask? So that's all. So uh, Kazim, just to conclude, in oh, conclusion. Okay. Um, this is uh, the beginning of the Power series, you know, the Power Platform series. And I've mentioned that, uh, you know, from next week, I'll probably be uh, having other professionals on the show uh, to talk about, to share some of their life experiences. So it's truly a big dream come true that we have a tool such as the Power Platform, you know, that helps us to build, that helps most especially, you know, the business owners, the business decision makers to be able to come up with sophisticated application without having to, you know, know, have a knowledge of uh, you know, programming at all. Mm -hmm. So this is really a dream come true. So I would encourage people to leverage, take advantage of this tool and, uh, you know, have everybody be citizen developers. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Kazim, for uh, coming on the show. Uh, Kazim will be back next week, Wednesday, from 1.30 to 1.55 p.m. for another exciting edition of Tech Talk. We've started an interesting topic. Trust me, I do not want to miss any of these editions because I'm also learning. Forget all this talk that uh, Kazim is saying that ah, you're already in <laughs> IT, you're from the IT world. I learn every day and I also want to learn more concerning this topic. Thank you so much, Kazim, and thank you to our guest. We'll be back next week. Week one Wednesday with Kazim on Tech Talk. 